Ah, uh, I haven't really done one today. In fact, I haven't. Have I? Hi, guys. Louis in the UK. Hope you're feeling well, guys. Hope you're having a good day. We're here to talk about Elvis Presley. Defending Elvis Presley fans want the truth. Um, it's a bit difficult to do a live at the moment because kids are off school. So there's a lot going on behind me. But I think I might have half an hour. We'll soon see. Uh, now, I was going to go through... Um, um, one of my subscribers' comments, uh, uh, Lor uh, Lorraine, but because Bridget Cruz has contacted us, I'm going to have to follow that fo follow that on a little bit. Um, I do want to say though that I've had a brilliant subscriber she, on here. She's called Lorraine Chapel. Um, I think she joins us as Lorraine Roberts. I just want to say that she sent me a lot of info. She's got a lot of uh, contacts that have given her this information. And I did promise her that I would list out the people that are giving her this information. So I'm going to list them. I am going to start going through a lot of her information. Uh, it's all about defending Elvis Presley. And, but unfortunately, because Bridget Cruz joined two of our lives this morning, I still want to finish off that subject. So just for Lorraine, if she's she may come on later and listen to this, I want to stick to my promise. Now, Lorraine's contact, where she gets her info, where other people have done a lot of hard work searching um, for ways of defending Elvis Presley. These are the names that Lorraine gave me. and I'm going to read them out that have helped her. You may know some of them. So we've got Nicola Cripper, Amy Collette, Rhonda Hamilton off Presley Mania, Darby Shaw. She's on Facebook, Darby Shaw. We have Shauna L. Fleming, which is um, obviously Shauna's, Shauna's channel. Then we've got Nessa Saw. We've got Corrine Blanc. Uh, Patty Ann, Rob Malone, Michelle Jenkin, Christina Bonnet Fastin, Sonny Laughlin Murdoch, we have Susan, Susie Coy, Caroline Rowland, and Leanne Brick, and Patty Pajeska, we have Gail Matthews, Liz Oliveira Dash Go. Nancy Aaron Friend, we have Todd Slaughter, we've heard of him, he was the, the UK Elvis fan club manager, wasn't he? I've heard of Todd Slaughter. Tina Weathers and Michael Oka. Right, I, let me just get this phone call a minute. Hello? Okay, right, it's fine. Um, so this, that was just for Lorraine, just to say anything that I read out of Lorraine's info that she's been sending me i'm going to try and let you know the different people that are contacting me and she also did send me the document that um shows that there's actual proof that there are only allowed to be six graves at graceland and she did specifically want me to tell you that the person she got that document from let me just find it Um, let's have a look. Uh, is got to, got to find it first. Was right. Amy Collett. Amy Collett is the one that paid to get the document done from Shelby County. Is it Shelby Council? Memphis Shelby Council. And the document just showed that could only be six people buried at uh, Graceland. And can I find the document? Uh, obviously, uh, Lorraine has sent me a lot of stuff, so we're going to have to go through this gradually. I'm just seeing if I can find that document, but there is a hundred things here. Great information. Love it. Um, but here's one of the interesting things that Lorraine sent me. Mike Stone's wife. I lost my husband to Priscilla Presley. And it's even got an interview. Her name is Fran Stone, and it's a 1973 interview. 
There we go, look at that. Quite a pretty lady. Now that is a live stream in itself. Um, so I'm going to definitely, all these things we're going to go through, guys, but I want to finish off the Bridget Cruz stuff because we've been, um, I think so. Uh, uh, so, right, Nadia's messaged me. Right, sorry about that, guys. All right, Nadia's on. So, Nadia, I was replying to your message then. <laughs> uh, yes, I do think, Nadia, that you go to the video. Let me just try it myself here while we're here. So, you go to the video. Let's have a look. Let's just click on one of them. I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Um, I've got to find it, Nadia. One second. So what it is, you have two lots of comments. You have the comments that people just post as normal, but then you have the, the live chat comments, which I think is are done differently. So let's see if I can just get one up. Hmm. I'm getting right. Let's just let's get the videos up. So your videos, right? We'll just click on any video that's that was live, which I think is that one. Then we go to the comments. Yeah. Then right, I'll pause that one. Yeah. So what you do, Nadia? Nadia, can you see this? You go to where the comments are, and then there's two black dot, a black dot and a white dot, and you scroll across, and you click on it, and then it lets you see the comments. Can you see that? See that? I'll spin them up for you. Yeah. Now let me uh, let me just show you one more time. So if you look closely, Nadia, can you see on the bottom right corner you get a black dot? Now that black dot, you can scroll it back and forth. So one is the live chat, the other is comments. Did you get that, uh, Nadja? So yes, you can, but it will only show you the comments as the video goes. So more comments appear. And then if you want to see all the comments, just go to the end of the video and then you can scroll through all the comments. So we've got Colin. Good morning, Colin. Um, it is, just so you know, it's 4.34 p.m. in the UK. Hi, Linda. We've got Chilling in Canada. Please remind me your name because you know I always forget it. Linda and Nadia and Deborah. So we've got Team Elvis. We've got some members on. Now, please, guys, I want you to become members. Click the member button. Have a join. It's only a quid a month. It's nothing. It's pennies, but it means a lot to me. Um, and definitely subscribe and like. Uh, if you want to join us in our lives, please subscribe. So Nadja is, it's one hour earlier in Switzerland. Don't we have Team Elvis here? I found there's Deb, this, this person called Deborah Shaw that Lorraine introduced us to. I did ask her to, look, to join our lives, and I was looking, and she did um, reply to one of my comments. And Deborah Shaw, I hope you don't mind her. Let's have a look. So Deborah, are you on watching? I don't know. If she, I doubt she is. Let's find it. No, Darby Shaw. Darby Shaw. Get it right. I'm going to click on her. View, let's go to her profile. And she is called, she uses the word Team Elvis. We are called Team Elvis, but obviously not our channel. I, I don't think her channel is called Team Elvis. Uh, uh, she, I actually quite like her logo. She uses the thing um, in the circle. It says, incredibly curious about Elvis. And then it says Team Elvis. Which I think is pretty cool. 
Pretty cool. And you've got a girl with a magnifying glass. It gives, Nadia, it gives you idea about how we're going to do our logo. Um, right. It's At the moment, it's sunny, but but a cold wind. So, because, right, just to freshen P up. No, no, we are Team Elvis. We would always be Team Elvis. It would never change. Now, that's not the name of her channel. It's just a, a term she uses. Right. Don't mess with the best, Nadia. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, right. To update anyone on here now that missed this morning's two lives, we were all chatting away about different stuff. We were going to talk about Lorraine's um, information that she's been posting me that was done by her contacts, her sources. And then Bridget Cruz jumps in and starts talking to us. And what you can see that she wants to answer questions. She puts herself out there for, oh, I think if you include both videos for a good hour, and allows us to ask her questions. You know who Bridget Cruz is, the auctioneer that is in litigation with Priscilla Presley, and Priscilla Presley is counter-suing um, Bridget Cruz and her three associates. Now, I think it was extremely respectful for Bridget Cruz to choose our channel to join in our live stream and allow us to ask her questions, and I thought that her replies were very good, very fair, very honest, and I thought, um, she sounded respectful and genuine, and we were allowed to ask whatever we wanted. So I want to follow that through. Come on, Nadia, do it, do it. Team Elvis, Team Elvis. But I do think that that one that I've shown you gives you a good template, a good template of what could be. I'll show you it again. Because, Nadia, I don't mind showing other people's things because I like promoting anything Elvis. I also like promoting other Elvis channels like Presley Mania, like um, Tender Loving Care, Elvis Rare Photos. I like promoting other channels. In fact, um, let's see if I can do it. Uh, I, ha I have, do you know, I have a list of Elvis channels. Someone sent them to me. I think it was Christine. Christine, if you're watching, I'm pretty sure that you sent me a list of Elvis channels. Let me just have a look. Uh, this, was it this morning? Right. Christine Kingston sent me a list. Now, I just want to say something. Me and Nadia have been discussing things. I feel that Elvis channels should promote each other. I always promote other Elvis channels. I don't think we should be, um, oh, what's the word? Competitive. I think the better we all do, the better for everyone. So, Nadja, I'll, um, Nadja, I'll send you the list, Nadja, that I'm just about to read out that Christine wrote just quickly in a message. Let's see if it comes up. Right, Nadia, I've just sent it to you. I know that Christine will not mind you posting it. Because I, do you know what? I haven't heard another channel mention our channel yet. Not once. I've not heard a presenter on another channel mention our channel. Not even once. But we on this channel have mentioned all of the famous channels. So it has to be a two way thing, guys, in my opinion. Because uh, I think the other Elvis channels are great. And Nadia has been asking many. Caring is sharing, Linda. So I'm now going to promote some channels. So no one has an excuse to not promote. Defending Elvis Presley, fans want the truth. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, we definitely need a T-shirt. Nadia, where's our T-shirt? Where's my vest? Um, right, let me just... Um, quickly read it out to you. So Christine sent me a lovely message. Uh, morning, Louis. I love that Louis. Lo no, I love. Right, I'll start again. I love that Love of Elvis has driven channels are interfacing on occasions. There are those that we have not heard from yet. So I'll tell you who is interfaced with us. Shauna has definitely 
been on our live streams and joined in with us, Tender Loving Care. Um, and Bridget Cruz has been on our live streams and in and been excellent. I think I thought Bridget Cruz was excellent. Um, so she says there's a few that have not interfaced with her, as Christine puts it, and I'll read them out to you. Elvis is the man, Scotty's through his eyes, Ray Vibes, those Elvis girls, Elvis Lass, Spa Guy, Trey's globe trotting with Elvis, Elvis Sundays with Nick, Rare Elvis photos, Elvis fans matter, the Mafia Kids, Spotlight Spy, which is a brilliant channel, by the way. Presley Mania, Tender Loving Elvis, and Tanya's channel. And there's more. If you guys can think of any more, please save them now. If you guys know of any Elvis channels that we can promote, please save them now, and I want to promote them. All I ask is that you guys promote our channel. Uh, Linda, that's good to know, but I've seen the kind of subscribes we're getting, and, and to be honest with you, if we don't do the phone lives, uh, we're only getting five or ten subscribers a day, I think we could do better than that, because I do think we, we need to grow. To really defend Elvis Presley, Elvis fan, you know, uh, to defend Elvis Presley, fans want the truth, we need to be, to spread our wings with the help of other Elvis channels. Uh, so if any of you can think of any ways to share our channel, to get more people interested in our mission to defend Elvis Presley, please help us. Uh, Lorraine, the, the, the lady that has been sending me all these hundreds of um, information that I can do different subjects on, on our live stream, she's, share, she's been sharing us. So... Oh, yeah, don't forget, we have the Facebook channel, our Facebook channel, which is Defending Elvis Presley Fans Want the Truth. Defending Elvis Presley Fans Want the Truth. Please join our Facebook so we can chat with each other through the days uh, as a group. Um, right, Elvis is the man. Yeah, great channel. Please, Elvis is the man. If you ever watch us, please um, promote us. Elvis Spa Guy. All right, I see you're saying, sorry, I didn't. I only caught half the sentence, Maris. Elvis Spargo both accused me of being negative when I defend Elvis, so I don't want... Oh, I understand. Well, I see what you're saying. Uh, so are you saying that they don't... Because I know that Elvis Rare Photos, he does talk about Priscilla. He has strong views about Priscilla. I'm not sure about Elvis is the man. Mary, I'm sure that Elvis is the man did a, a section on child bride. I'm sure he did. Yeah. So maybe you had a bad experience with him, Mary. I don't know. So Cheryl Spencer says spa guy is cray 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 cray. Don't forget, I don't know these people. Um, why would you be negative defending? They are Elvis fans. Did Mary. Right. All I know is this, guys. We are here to defend Elvis Presley. We are here to disagree with, with anyone saying anything bad about Elvis that is not true. And we should do it together, collectively, even if there's thousands of channels. We're all here to help each other. And we are a new growing channel, so we do need help. I don't know Spa Guy, so I can't comment on him. Elvis is the man. I've never spoke to him. I'd love it if he promoted us. Fe Fezzily just did a video on Child Bride today. Yeah, and I like uh, Fezzily's videos. So if he wants to help promote us, please do. Fezzily, your channel seems very good. I like Hidden Minds. And there's another channel that is very similar to Hidden Minds. Um, is it Untold Truth? Let me just think. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can get him up. Because obviously we, we look to other channels to, to, to get some of our info. 
Is it Untold Truth? Let me just get it up. It could be Untold Truth documentaries. Um, let's have a look. I'll put on. I'll put Hidden Minds on, and then usually the other one comes up. They're quite similar. So Hidden Minds, excellent. That's Renee, and he's a subscriber and a member. Um, it's typical that um, it's not coming up now. See if you know who I mean. Um, yes, that's Nadia. You're on it. You're on it. We just. I'm just trying to find it. Oh, look, there's a really good one on here called Defending Elvis Presley. Fans want the truth. Look at that. Now, that seems really good. Oh, who is that? Why does he always wear vests? He's always wearing a vest and he's always in his kitchen. Why is that guy always in his kitchen and the kids are in the background and the dogs are barking? He needs to, like, dress smarter. Let's have a look. Um... I see uh, about Dustin to die young. Um, yeah, I see Elvis. Yeah, what's that naked Mel Gibson doing posting videos about Elvis in his kitchen while his dogs are barking and his kids are jumping on top of his head? Um, uh, do I believe a book 100% are all the reasons, but no, people do educate themselves on to. Huh? Because I could hear someone shouting them. Right. Uh, right, Tina, not too loud, please. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, what we've got here. What other platforms do you stream on? It's just Facebook and YouTube. You may want to consider streaming on more platforms like TikTok and Twitch. Yeah, but how... Um, chilling in Canada, is there, way, is there a way of doing it at the same time? So I'm doing, obviously, we're streaming now. Yeah, I am. I do have a TikTok and Instagram and X and Facebook account, which all have thousands of my Elvis videos on. My Instagram account gets literally hundreds of thousands of views. Um, are you saying that there is a way to, to live stream at the same time on all of the accounts? Because I'd love to do that. Um Uh, what are the platform? Young people are all on TikTok. Yeah. Nadia, have you seen my TikTok and my Instagram? Have you checked it out? Because they're very good. They, you know, they get my, my original TikTok Elvis account had millions of views. Millions. Right. Let's have a look. Um, so where were we? We were... Right. Let's get to the story. I wanted to... I was going to do Lorraine stuff, but the thing is, I do need to finish off this subject with Bridget Cruz. So we're going to go on to Lorraine stuff maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, so I posted two things. I went to. Let me find it. I went to Bridget Cruz's auction site, GWS. and I just was interested to see um, if she's posted anything about the recent goings-on with Priscilla countersuing. Okay, chilling, but I will look into it. I have a feeling if you pay a monthly fee to one of these streaming-type companies, they do, there is a way to connect you. When Because I know, I've know i noticed Dr. Ken Berry on YouTube, you know, the carnival diet guy, he streams on different platforms at the same time. So there is a way of doing it. Anyway, so I went on to GWS's auction site and I thought I'd just click on her site and see if she's posted anything recently. So, and it did come up. So there is a picture of, this is uh, Bridget Cruz and Priscilla. And Bridget, if you're watching now, I just thought it would make sense to post your latest thing this was posted on the 25th of July. Um, it's, it's titled. Yeah, man, that's okay. I can do that, Nadia. Right. So it's, it's entitled GWS Auctions Responds to Allegations Regarding Sales of Elvis Presley Items. 
So I've got two things I'm going to read to you. I'm going to, and I also have another thing. Um, this is Bridget Cruz responds retaliate. Oh God, retaliatory lawsuit by Priscilla Presley, who claims she was a victim of financial abuse. So I want to read both these articles to you. So brace yourself for a bit of reading, and that will fit. That will be enough. And I'll try and do one more tonight, maybe. Right, are we ready, guys? Hi, Sue, you okay? Right, let's have a look. Um, where are we? Let's just get it up. Okay. Right, let's do it. I'll start again. This is Bridget Cruz's uh, GWS auction site, which you can just go on. Stick it on Google. It comes up. It's a very, it works very quickly. So allegations regarding sales of Elvis Presley items, GWS Auctions responds. On the 25th of July, 2024, California, Bridget Cruz and Priscilla Presley met several years under circumstances unrelated to the sale of Elvis Presley's memorabilia at auction. And I do think Bridget clearly tries to separate the two. She, tr she clearly starts try said to us that the lawsuit has nothing to do with the auction company. So she does want to keep that separate. Right. I'll say it again. Bridget Cruz, Priscilla Presley met several years under circumstances unrelated to the sale of Elvis Presley memorabilia at auction. Because of her unique position in the Elvis Presley space, Miss Cruz was made aware of certain ultimately unsubstantiated claims and, assert and assertions relative to Elvis Presley's legacy and estate. Mrs. Cruz was instrumental in vetting, paying for and disproving such claims and her efforts inured to the benefit of Elvis Presley's reputation and estate. I mean, I'm guessing this could be this could have been written by uh, a lawyer, I'm guessing, but let's keep going. The personal and business disputes involved in the Florida lawsuit commenced against Miss Presley and Miss Presley recently filed retaliatory lawsuits in California will be resolved in court. Those disputes and the litigation do not involve GWS auctions and GWS is not party in any litigation involving Miss Presley. GWS has been unfairly maligned and its reputation harmed by a certain misinformed, overzealous media dragging GWS's name into the controversies while Miss Cruz categorically denies any elder financial abuse of Miss Presley. Those allegations do not involve GWS Miss Cruz's personal and business relationships with Miss Presley are separate and distinct from GWS. Miss Cruz is not an owner of GWS. I think it's very clear that GWS auctions are saying that the lawsuit is between Bridget, her associates, and Priscilla. They're really trying to distance themselves from this lawsuit. Uh, and that ending comment that Mrs. Cruz, of Bridget, is not owner of GWS. So that's an interesting point. Does that mean that it's a company and it's you know, it's limited? It's a limited company. I know that she has three other associates. Obviously, um, Kevin F Flack is it, and then I know that the 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 counter sue that Priscilla is doing that mentions four names one of them being Bridget, the other one, Kevin, and two others. Okay, so we see what they're doing. Although GWS did receive letters of recollection from Miss Presley regarding certain lots from the, from the Colonel Tom Parker collection, those letters provided additional support of provenance and GWS believed that they were historical value to the collectors particularly when combined with supporting materials provided directly from Colonel Parker's estate. Miss Presley's name was associated with Colonel Parker's collection, and because she was 
there in real time while GWS was preparing for the auctions of Colonel Parker's collection, EPE Graceland offered to authenticate certain lots for a fee. Oh, well, that's interesting. That is interesting. EPE and Graceland would authenticate things for a fee. Hmm. And maybe Bridget Cruz saying no to them has put their nose out of joint. I'm guessing. Because GWS was satisfied with its own due diligence, as well as the strength of the provenance associated with items in Colonel Parker's collection, GWS elected not to pay the fee for additional authentication of those items. Additionally, Miss Presley name was inscribed on one of the pieces and she maintained a close relationship with Colonel Parker up until the time of his passing. And I and I've learned this that Priscilla and Colonel Tom Parker got on very, very well. Very, very well. Um Miss Presley's recollections about these pieces were very clear. Additional GWS has access to extensive and pertinent records related to Colonel Parker and Colonel Parker's collection. NBC recently aired a segment that focused on GWS auctions and itself Elvis Presley memorabilia. Although denied by NBC, the airing of the segment appears to have been timed to coordinate with a filing of Miss Presley's litigation involving Miss Cruz and other unrelated to GWS, GWS and Miss Cruz cooperated with NBC and gave NBC access to various records, including records of sales, correspondence with Graceland, archives and provenance. Miss Cruz also participated in a lengthy interview with NBC reporter Chloe Melas, most of which was not included in the segment that NBC chose to broadcast. Now, Bridget Cruz has already told us there was a large section of that news report that was not shown. She also has accepted that some letters were written to authenticate items by Priscilla. I think that was just further back. Right. In advance of the interview, NBC inquired about the authenticity and provenance of Elvis related artifacts sold through GWS. GWS provided material supporting the provenance from dozens of items. When the segment aired, no references were made to the documentation provided by GWS. Instead, NBC included comments by Joel Weishanker. And I will say that Joel Weishanker, in that being in that NBC report, I think some of it was filmed at Graceland. It to me that was opening up a can of worms. And to me, that came across that Joel Weishanker has got it in for Priscilla and got it in for Bridget Cruz. It's just my opinion. And I think the way Joel Weishanker spoke about um, Priscilla was actually a bit cruel. Uh, I'm trying to remember the wording he used. He said um, she doesn't have the capacity to make decisions. I, I just thought that made her look a bit stupid. I didn't think that needed to have been said. Um. Let's keep going. NBC included comments by Joel Weishanker. I still think Joel Weishanker, he's playing with fire. He's stirring the pot, you know, because there's possible um, comebacks with Joel Weishanker saying the things he was saying, saying about the authenticity of the jacket or the jet or the letters that were drawn by Priscilla. There's going to be comebacks. This could be more lawsuits. And don't forget, he's head of a massive organization, Elvis Presley Enterprises. He's a very, very wealthy man. Um, I do believe that Joel Weishanker really loves Gracelands and EPE and loves Elvis and loves his, his legacy. I do believe he's a good guy. But I do think... Right, I, but I do think he's playing with fire. I, I do think he's playing with fire. I'm a bit surprised he did this. For the sake of some items that are being auctioned, I do think... He's got better things to do with his time. That's what I think. He's a, he's probably worth hundreds of millions. He's got other companies. And he wants to, 
argue about a jacket and a jet that has already been sold. That is Jason. Yeah, yeah, go and see her. Go on. Right, anyway, we'll come, don't bang that because I'm trying to finish what I'm doing. Right, um, right, let's keep looking. Right, no references were made to the documentation to provided by GWS instead of NBC included comments by Joel Wanjaka and Elvis Presley Enterprises, including questioning the accuracy of the description for two items previously offered for sale by GWS, NBC failed to note that EPE is a business enterprise and was a competitor of GWS that attempted to promote its own auction prior to the Graceland auction ceasing, in oper ceasing its operations. NBC also failed to note that part of East EPE's business model involves the fee-based authentication of Elvis Presley's artifacts. So she's basically saying that Graceland's have their own auction company, which now doesn't exist. Yeah? Right, let's try and just keep a bit quiet, please. Right. Yeah. right, let's just try and be a bit quiet. Thank you. No. Right, give me the phone. No. Yeah. Real, keep them quiet, please. Right, don't worry, guys. We're coming to the end of this because I know it's a bit boring. Um, so Naji says, why Shanka meant she couldn't know all the things... Elvis bought after divorce, hence no capacity. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I think that's what Rhonda was trying to explain. There's a difference between capacity and mental capacity, okay? Uh, uh, are you saying that Rhonda read this one out? Because I didn't know that she read this one, but okay. Um, CK, capacity, in my opinion, means knowledge because Priscilla wasn't living with, El uh, right, okay, with Elvis from 71 to 77. Thanks for that, CKC. Have I missed any other comments? Joel meant that Priscilla didn't have the experience to qualify as an expert. Right, okay. I still think the way he worded it makes her look silly. Uh, if she broke, how can she afford these high-powered attorneys? Good point, Cheryl. Is it is it Scientology? Right, okay, let's keep reading. EPE is not the only source of expertise with respect to Elvis Presley memorabilia. Whilst experts can legitimately form different opinions regarding the authenticity of any items in any asset class, GWS stands behind everything that it sells and categorically denies trafficking in fake or inauthentic items attributed to Elvis Presley or otherwise through innuendo and without proof, a shadow has been unfairly cast over GWS and its operations after over 15 years of stellar service in consigners, bidding, bidders and buyers. And I agree with her. I think that that NBC article that, um, that put in question the jacket, the jet, GWS auctions, Priscilla's letters, I think Joel Weishanker's comments, I think has done a lot of jap damage to GWS auctions. And if I was Bridget, G if I was GWS auctions, I would be like, you've cost me a lot of money, you guys. You've um, lost me a lot of credibility. You've lowered the value of the items that we're selling in our auctions. And there's thousands and thousands of items. Probably there's people that are not trusting GWS auctions anymore because of that NBC news report that went around the world. So I would say, if I was Bridget Cruz, I know that she's saying that she's not the owner and that it's GWS Auctions are a separate entity. But if I was GWS Auctions, I would be looking for a lawsuit. I would be like, no, no, you've damaged our reputation. I want compensation. I would. But if, but if the NBC report is true and correct then it's a different story. So anyway, so GWS Auctions is one of the most respected and reputable names in the Elvis Presley marketplace. GWS stands behind everything that it has sold in the Elvis Presley space and otherwise all of which has passed GWS strict internal qualification standards. And then it is signed, Diane Blackman, BRPR, even gives an email address, statement from GWS Auctions. 
So that thing I just read out is from GWS Auctions. So take from it what you want, guys. I see, I hear a wounded animal. I hear you gave me a hard slap and I'm not happy. I want compensation. I see this as the beginning of a possible future lawsuit from GWS Auctions towards Joel Wyshanka, um, even NBC News, isn't it? Anyway, there's that, right? And then I was going to just quickly read the news report. I don't want it to be too long-winded. It's not too bad. And then I think that'll be... That'll be enough for this live stream. Um, I really did want to um, go through the Bridget Crew stuff again because she has joined our live twice today and I just think we need to round it off properly by just going through the information. G uh, yes, I think it's the same, Louis. Let's have a look. Uh, GWS explains the jacket EPE said... There's only one. They have original one and receipt. Did the tailor not remember the fabric or the lining? Okay. Why should Joe have to authenticate everything, every article they auctioned? I want compensation. I would want compensation. But I will say this, Mary. Why did Gracelands offer to authenticate items if they were paid a fee? That, I want, that raises a question to me. Yeah. Now, don't forget, Joe Weishanker is a businessman. He's a businessman. He's not a Presley. He's a businessman. He's, he bought Elvis Presley Enterprises to make money. Right. The truth will come out by the way of evidence and not rumours, um, reports Bridget Cruz and Kevin Fialco, who was also named in the suit and wrote in a statement to the people. Bridget Cruz responds to retaliatory lawsuit by Priscilla Presley, who claims she was a victim of financial abuse. Well, it was actually a victim of elders abuse, wasn't it? Um, in a statement obtained by the people, Bridget Cruz's legal team responded to the filing made on behalf of Priscilla Presley last week by claiming it was retaliatory. I understand that. Uh, it's a counter sue, isn't it? It's usually counter when you counter sue, isn't it all, all isn't it all about um, reaching a settlement i've always thought that but uh, i've nearly finished i've got about five minutes here uh, the recent lawsuit has alleged crews among others took advantage of priscilla 79 and stole one million cruise legal team claims the truth will come out by the way of evidence and not rumors so then we have let's keep going on Monday, July 22nd, Cruz legal team shared a statement with people claiming the suit filed on Thursday, the 18th of July by Marty Singer on behalf of Elvis Presley's ex-wife, Priscilla Presley, which alleged Cruz, among others, took advantage of Priscilla, age 79, and stole $1 million in retaliatory. The suit filed in a retaliatory lawsuit due to one filed by Priscilla's business partners last year. The statement reads, we are confident that the facts will speak for themselves and justice will prevail. Which is, I think that's Bridget Cruz, yeah? It continues, it saddens all of us who dropped our lives to provide aid to a woman who needed help and she is now attempting to use the celebrity status to ruin the lives of kind, hardworking people. They also express their gratitude for those who have supported them during this difficult time. We will continue to focus on our business and look forward to our day in court. The truth will come out by way of evidence and not rumours. There will be no further comment at this time as we respect the judicial process and the statement concludes. On Thursday, the 18th July, Cruz legal team told people could not respond to the lawsuit because counsel has not been served with a copy of it. Um, sorry about that. We're nearly done now, guys. We're nearly done. Um, where are we? Uh, my brother's trying to ring, but I need to finish this raw because I've only got a few minutes left. I want to quickly read. I'm sorry, my, someone tried to ring me. It messed my 
place up. I'm literally a few minutes left, and then I can pack it away, baby. Um, so I'll message my brother. I'll call you. You five men. Ba ba ba. Right. Okay. Um, where are we? Are? Let's find my place again. Right. He knows all. Right. So we'll get in there, guys. We will continue. Right, okay, we've read that. Um, on th uh, we have alerted Mrs. Presley's attorney that we do not have a copy of the filing, but they have responded. They added, in addition to Cruz, the filing also named Kevin Fialco, Vahi Sicilian, um, Lynn Walker, and Lynn Walker Wright, and Priscilla Presley partners. So, so there are four people involved in this, isn't there? Plus Priscilla. However, Priscilla alleged that Cruz, the founder of Cruz GWS Auctions, controlled Priscilla's finances and forced her into a form of indentured servitude by gaining her trust, isolating her from the most important people in her life and duping her into believing that would take care of her personally and financially. The lawsuit claimed that they convinced Priscilla that all of her former advisors were either deceitful or incompetent because of that, she was leaving millions of dollars on the table. And as a result of their mismanagement, the filing alleged by isolating her and immersing themselves in every aspect of her life, the defendants were able to fraudulently induce, fraudulently induce Priscilla into giving them power of attorney and control over her family and personal trusts and control over her bank account. The complaint alleged, according to Priscilla, who is 79, met Cruz through mutual connections to discuss Cruz's business and selling Elvis memorabilia. Allegedly, Cruz quickly immersed herself in Priscilla's life, and by the end of 2021, they began working together. When Priscilla was unable to trust her longtime advisor, Cruz allegedly gained access to Priscilla's finances. The actress, businesswoman, new advisor, Cruz, selected allegedly... Right, yes. I need you there, I need you there, guys. Then unplug the All right, I won't. Falsely told Priscilla that she would not survive without their ability to exploit her name, image, and likeness of her behalf per complaint. And under the guidance of Cruz, Priscilla alleges that she created companies where her associates received 80% of her income and was left with the minority shares of the company. She also claimed that the complaint that money from Sophia Coppola directed Pyopic Priscilla was embezzled. Sophia Coppola directed Pyopic was embezzled. Anyway, I'm waffling on, but you get the idea. Priscilla, right, kids, quiet a minute. But if you actually just shut the door, I'm nearly at the end now. Priscilla is looking to have the license and operation agreement of the sham companies rescinded in order to block the defendants for having access to her financial accounts and hold them accountable for their wrongful actions. That's it, I think, let's have a look. Um, Priscilla opened up to people about working with Cruz GWS auctions, which included several pieces of Elvis memorabilia in September 2021. I thought, why not be part of it, she said at the time. I used to have a different opinion about these estate sales. But then as I got older, I realized that you have to pass things down to someone who really appreciated them. And Cruz added, she just such a wealth of experience and knowledge. You don't study and learn about Elvis without learning about Priscilla as well. Their names are synonymous. In September 2023, Cruz, Cruz sued Priscilla for a alleged breach of contract after they formed Priscilla Presley Partners, reported TMZ. According to the outlet, Priscilla abruptly stopped all communications with Cruz around 2023. And really, after that, guys, after once Priscilla had stopped all, all contact with Bridget Cruz and GWS auctions, there's the first lawsuit. And then now there's a countersuit from Priscilla. She's claiming elder abuse for a million dollars. We all know this, guys, but we get the picture. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, that was quite a read for me because you know that I hate reading. I do it for you guys. I do it for the Elvis fans. So 
How are you going to reward me? <laughs> Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please become members. Click the member button. It's only a pound a go. Uh, it's not about the money. I don't need the money. It's about I want members. Uh, so Nadia says, I read Bridget Cruz help negotiate between Priscilla and Riley. It's, I haven't. I'd like to have that in writing, and I have heard that. That's interesting. If she if she comes on again, I'll ask her that question, Nadia. So the power of attorney, as far as I know, chilling in Canada, went to Bridget Cruz. When they saw, and Bridget Cruz told us there was four contracts signed that were witnessed by Bridget Cruz, by Priscilla, um, agreeing many, many things to do with her, her name, her likeness, her image. Bridget Cruz also said that, yes, she thinks Priscilla had sold the name Presley to Elvis Presley Enterprises. She had sold the name Presley, but she still, but Bridget Cruz has bought the name Priscilla and the likeness and the image from Priscilla. That was part of the new deal. So, well, I think it's, uh, Nadia, it's ongoing. It's ongoing, isn't it? These, these things take years. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been in, in litigation. It takes years, years. I heard Mary, I heard that, that John Travolta was involved with that. Um, let's have a look. I know you guys are very interested in the jet and the suit. I think it's a bigger picture than that because there could be a lot more items involved here. I also think what things happened between Bridget and Priscilla before they fell out. What dealings were happening? Because we've heard that Barry Siegel was involved in the in the orchestration of the Priscilla movie. Now that's interesting because Barry Siegel, as far as we know, completely ripped off Lisa Marie Presley, in our opinion. So that means Barry Siegel is still friends with Priscilla. Now that isn't good. Lisa Marie Presley would turn in her grave if she knew that Priscilla was, it was still friends with Barry Siegel, in our opinion. So you get where it, it's a complex web, guys. Uh, you know, Bridget Cruz is a larger-than-life character. I call her the female Colonel Tom Parker. My dealings with her on my channel, on our channel, she's obviously been on this channel a few times now, even in the live chat. She seems nice. She seems like a hard-working entrepreneur that has given her life to business. And she's very flamboyant. You can see her on YouTube. Many, many videos, many interviews, thousands of videos showing the items that she sells. And somehow she's in bed with Priscilla. Uh, or was. I don't mean that literally. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they thought they were going to make a fortune together, didn't they? They thought they were going to make... And she supposedly got Priscilla Presley out of a deep hole of debt, a big tax bill. They come up with a master plan to make a lot of money. And from what I see, Priscilla changed her mind. And now she's using high powered attorneys to claim elder abuse and say that Bridget Cruz is a con artist. Yeah, I think we'll end it at that, guys. I want to come back tonight and do some of Lorraine's stuff. So. I've got a load of stuff from Lorraine sent me. I want to go through that uh, if you know if I'm not too tired, but I do want to, and I may do one more phone live when I walk the dogs. I'm going to walk the dogs because it's sunny, and I'm going to probably do a phone live. So I may do two lives. Uh, if I'm going to do a phone live, I'm going to do it soon because I want to walk the dogs. So I might be back on in about 20 minutes. Um, but tonight's live will be around... 7 p.m. English, in British time, 7 to 8 p.m. British time. But the dog walk, the phone live, probably quite soon. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Teresa, you got it. P is in bed with everybody. Ah, uh, don't worry, Helen. I'm gonna, I'm coming back on with a phone, with a phone live. Da -da -da. Lisa Marie is sending karma, says Nadja. 
So Priscilla o also owes the name Graceland. Um, what well, she may have done, but I got a feeling she sold that to EPE. EPE bought the name Graceland, Naja. Teresa, I agree. I think Riley was too soft. Teresa says Riley was wrong to give up any money to Lisa. I don't agree. All of the things that Riley Q gave to Priscilla when they had that disagreement about Priscilla, uh, Lisa Marie's death, after Lisa Marie's death, she was too soft. I like Riley Q. She was too soft. Jane, do you know what I think, Jane? I think she's 79 year old. She should be at home, at home doing the knitting, looking after her grandkids. And that's no offense to older people. I just think when you're 79, why are you running around the world doing business? Doesn't make sense. Uh, kids, you can come in, come and quickly say hello, and then I'm going to say goodbye. Do you want to say hello or not? Shh. Right, I want you. Right, my kids are going to say goodbye to you, and then I'm going to sign off. Say hi, Elvis fans. Hi, hi. This is this is Talia. No, and I'm Yasmin. Yasmin, she's seven with her best friend Jade. And you've got to both say, we are Team Elvis and do that. Say, we are Team Elvis, after three. You've got to say, we are Team Elvis and do that. Go. We are Team Elvis. One more time. We are Team Elvis. Team Elvis, come on, we rock. Okay, guys. <laughs> They're saying hello. They said hi. Everyone is saying hello. Bye, Louis. Bye, everyone. Yay, look. Sue says, yay, Team Elvis. Wait, Colin, have a good have, day. Yeah. Name Jade, name Naja, Jade. thumbs up. Say Jade. Say Helen, hi, Jade. Helen is saying. Say hi, Jade. No, no, this is okay. We've done enough say now. Hi, Jade. We're just waiting for their responses. You, can, you want to do it one more time? We are Team Elvis. One, two, three. We are Team Elvis. <laughs> Yay. Bye, chilling in Canada. We're out of here. We're going to be back for a phone live in 20 minutes. See you guys. Da, 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 da.